I'm in Charleston, South Carolina, a place of rich history, amazing architecture, even more amazing food. Let's go check out some of those places. There's nothing better than bucketing rain to scare away the tourists. I stopped at Angel Oak Tree to view a 400 year old gigantic tree, which was packed with people until it started to pour down rain. Thank you, Mother Nature. I was able to get a few good pictures without dozens of gawking tourists in the way. After leaving Angel Oak Tree, I stopped at a quaint little hole in the wall called the Southern General. There they had an excellent sesame shrimp sandwich. It had crispy panko shrimp, sweet chili slaw, oven roasted tomatoes, and an amazing spicy wombo mayo. After lunch, I drove around to gather my bearings, stopping to check out Folly River and to take a few pictures. Afterwards, I headed to my hotel to check in. For dinner, I walked a few blocks to 167 Raw. It was smaller than I expected, with only a bar and maybe two tables. There actually appeared to be more workers than patrons, which in some sense made the service excellent. I had a few fresh oysters and a lobster roll. It was some chunky lobster meat. Behind me here is the boat that I took to check out Fort Sumner. It was a 30 minute boat ride out to the fort. Uh, and then it lasted for about an hour while I was there. It was very informative. So let's check out some video from the tour. The Fort Sumner Monument Building had a plethora of historical information about the timeline of Charleston, or Charlestown as it used to be called. I aimlessly wandered as I waited for the ferry to begin boarding. I decided on the 930 tour, which was the earliest ferry I could take to explore Fort Sumner. I was hoping that early wouldn't be packed with people, but alas, the tour was filled with exuberant people clamoring to board the ferry and visit Fort Sumner as well. Fort Sumner is one of over 400 National Park sites. National Park Service has been in service for over 101 years, providing protection and preservation to our nation's natural and historical sites. That's for our enjoyment and appreciation and for future generations. The 30 minute ferry ride to the island was delightful. I got to sit back and relax, listen to the guides talk about the history, while taking in the view of the recreational and commercial boaters, the birds trying to swoop in on their next meal, and the occasional glimpse of the dolphins swimming around. We also passed by Castle Pickney, which was a small fortification used very briefly as a prisoner of war camp. Being the first tour of the fort, 
We were treated with a flag raising ceremony as they opened the fort for that day's tours. After that, I wandered around checking out the plaques, cannons, the museum, and everything in between. It was a unique experience to stand where the start of the Civil War took place. Fort Sumner was a five-sided sea fort. It was planned after the War of 1812, but it was still incomplete by the start of the succession in 1861. The first battle of Fort Sumner was on April 12, 1861. This marked the start of the Civil War. The Confederates opened fire for 34 straight hours before the Union surrendered. There were actually two battles there, one where the Confederacy took the fort, and then the other was when the Union failed to take it back. After I arrived back from the tour, I walked a few blocks down to Monero, which was a bustling little eatery that served an unassuming but iconic burrito. Not only did it have quality ingredients, but this layer of cheese on the outside of the burrito made it simply amazing. Since I was already close by, I detoured to the iconic pineapple fountain to let my food settle. I then made my way to the historical Charleston Market. This market is made up of a bunch of buildings or halls that run together with boutiques lining the interior. You basically walk in one end and out the other and into the next building. There are plenty of artisans selling all kinds of clothes, art, shoes, home decor, collectibles, basically anything and everything. On my walk back to the hotel, I stopped by the Market Sweet Shop. I was lured in by the smell of fresh candy and free samples, which I ended up buying a couple pralines before heading back to the hotel. 